Well, it gave me better control in that it was actually a tool. And what I mean by that is it was something concrete that I could write down and practice and therefore use. So it wasn't some psychological construct or some uh, theory out of a book. It had practical application. And what I mean by that is that there was a process about what those tools were, a pragmatism to how to use them, how to form them, and uh, a way to use them and get positive feedback for them. Positive feedback immediately from the interviewer that they were well accepted. A lot of times I think what people find is that uh, there's this nebulous information that gets given to us and then uh, we try to transfer that into our own experiences in the interview. What the tools in 360 are, are they have names, they have definitions, they have descriptions, you create them for yourself, you learn them, and then you go apply them and analyze the responses you get from that application. It's like any tool you use anywhere. Because a tool's not a good tool if you can't use it when it's necessary. And knowing the right tool for the job, and having that tool, having it in the tool belt, essentially. If you don't have it in the tool belt, you can't use it.